Hi everyone, today we will talk about Excel 2019. Basically, I have a version of Office 365. So in 365 version, whatever the Excel you have, it will be the latest Excel. So right now I'm using Excel 2019. We will discuss about today home tab and their ribbons. So let's start. There's a home tab. In home tab, we have a multi type of ribbon. So first ribbon we have the group of ribbons we have a clipboard second font alignment number style cell editing and there's a new thing which is very nice i like it ideas so i will show you at the end so let's start let me clear the formatting first yes so we have a data so start from this uh, from the first ribbon as a clipboard copy and I want to paste the same area of data from H cell. So just paste it. So you can see I copy the data and paste it here. So next, cut. So just click on the cut button and paste. So data will move from one location to another location. Then we will move to let me shortcut key as a control C copy control V as a paste so we use shortcut key uh, I will recommend to everyone to please make your practice and remember as much as maximum shortcut keys it will save your time to do your task now I'll move toward format painter so format painter basically you can if you have one formatting on the table and then there's a different color this color is different so you want the same setting here let's say here red color so just select that area click on format painter and click on other data so same formatting will be paste there so this is called format painter here you can see the next is font here you can choose the font styles any font style you want to choose you can change the style then we have uh, different option you want to make font or number as a bold italic underline so then we have borders different style of borders you can uh, make border then outline as a bold so border you can see here then you have a background colors of the cell you can choose any color and change it make format then you have a font color you can choose any color to make look different okay so we have here with the font we have a font size you can change the size from here or there is a small a and capital a it is a sign of the font large and small so you can click like okay so we clear clipboard and font let's move toward alignment so there's alignment you can understand so there's a data if you want to do in center right side and align left so that type of alignment we have up down bottom and what we call orientation alignment see if we click here the data will be like this like this vertical so a lot of option here accordingly you can change your data control Z is a key of undo after that see decrease indent you can feel the difference right from here you can do center left right but from here accordingly you can adjust where you want the font or data 
wrap tax wrap tax if you have <clears throat> more data in one cell custom if let's say I will write something like anything if I write so I cannot see the full data so click here click on wrap text you can see in one cell you can see the full data now otherwise you cannot see the full data only you can see the data in the formula bar so this is called wrap text merge cell if there's a like here two cell you can see cell 1 e f so I just want both cell to merge just select both cell and click on merge you can see now it become a one cell see there's a one cell now okay so let's move to number here you can see the dollar sign any currency sign you can choose you can go here if not available go in more you can choose lot of currency and accounting formats see lot of their format cell percentage sign can click there's a percentage sign a comma sign you click it will convert in the amount then decimal for example if you have uh, data here 10 12.3456 so decimal if you want to increase decrease accordingly you can use it conditional formatting let me clear this formatting clear format <clears throat> conditional formatting there's a different kind of format you can do in the go in the detail I will just little bit explain about it uh, if data greater than I'll mention if data greater than 30 then convert data in green color okay so if data here 60 it will convert in green color so that is called conditional formatting there's a lot of thing top 10 item top 10 percent do yellow color top 10 percent so here above average give green color conditional formatting data bars you want to see see different styles okay so that is called gradient fill then solid fill then you can go color scaling conditional formatting then icons icon set according to your data you can then you can create rule as well manage rule here you can accordingly you can create the links or you can create the condition formatting according to your requirement so table format according to your wish you can create any type of table formatting see this this is called table format cell format if any single cell you want to format you can format it okay then insert row column anything insert cell I just want to see one cell added here insert sheet rows full sheet added okay then delete same vice versa okay I deleted the row delete you can delete the cell also here you can choose row height column width row height mean the area which is in between the rows like this so format row height I want only 20% so it will reduce like this same way here I will click I will go to column width I want 1% see it's reduced column width I want 6% or uh, 6 I want the size of column as 10 so accordingly it will out of it with the column so the data will select automatically hide rows hide column you can do by select selecting from here there's a lot of shortcut key I will give a separate lecture on all the shortcut keys hide column hide rows you can hide this row 
okay same way you can hide the column so you can find very basic information here aha uh -huh. there is very important protect sheet and lock cell so people always get confused here how to lock the desired cell so this is a very simple formula whenever you want to lock some data always click that side and select full sheet click on format you can always find lock cell as lock so just unlock it so full data is unlocked now what you have to do whatever the data you want to lock that people cannot change you have to select that data only because what you did you click and you unlock full sheet now i want people cannot change this area multi selection you can select by pressing the control key control button from the keyboard press control i don't want people can change here i don't want people can change this red amount okay i'm keep pressing the button of keyboard control button now i will go here format and lock cell i lock the cell now format protect sheet put any password 1 2 okay repeat now you can see you can make any changes anywhere but you cannot make any change here you cannot make any change here and you cannot make any change here but you can make changes everywhere that is that function i like so much so that is called protection cell protection sheet protection or data protection same way you can go here unprotect sheet by putting the password okay now what we have next if you want all cells column with same just select all together and do the sizing like this okay now we'll move to editing uh, ribbon of the home there is auto sum you click here there is values you just click auto sum it will select enter it it will give you the total so this is called auto sum so there is a lot of option auto average if you want see this is the average lot of option you will get lot of option there then fill fill down see the total is accordingly it fill down fill up fill right fill left so that is simple thing so clear so if you want to clear full data just click here clear all it will clear all undo if you want to clear format only that colors and everything and data should remain same clear format so you can see formatting clear okay let's move forward sorting and filterization click here sort a to z the data will sort out let's say if we have c here b here d here g here so f here so we will just select the data a to z so data will move accordingly because we have on the top p so the sorting and fil filter you can select the data click filter see you can select any data so like that way filter is working sort and filter find and replace yes we can uh, find let's say i want to find company so the cell will reach here if i want to replace this as a, let's say office replace it so find and replace work like this there's a lot of option which we'll cover later on um, let's say one very important information or very important cell go to special i just want to teach you that is very important let's say you have a data you have a huge data and there's a, some cells empty so you want whatever the value here you want to paste here so you want to fill that 
column according to your data requirement once again I'm telling you there's some kind of data where people want the same value will be filled in the next cell so there's a thousand of cells empty so how you will do what you have to do select the data find and replace go to special select blank okay you can see only blank cell selected press equal sign and select the top cell press control then enter you can see all blank cell is going to fill see whatever the value on the above cell it's fill so if you have millions of rows or columns you want to fill like that so you can fill easily rather than going one by one so that is the important field which I inform you formulas will discuss later on conditional formatting we discuss here already so this is the same thing conditional formatting uh, <laughs> what else what else we have constant not important data validation uh, we'll explain in the data here we will explain here data validation okay idea idea why I like uh, according to your data Excel 2019 is giving you ideas so just click here idea basically graphs a different kind of um, graph it will give see it's giving you the field graph uh, pie chart bar chart line chart so even you can change accordingly so if you like anything for example insert chart so it will insert here you can change accordingly that whatever you required so this is idea so that is a quick and basic introduction about home tab and their ribbon thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next lecture bye